Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So I haven't even had my coffee this morning yet and it's like really, really hot. It's only 17 degrees Celsius, but in my apartment it is like boiling. I'm like sweating today. So if I'm a little bit like right now, it's just because I'm super fucking sweaty. Um, but as you guys know, Fenty Beauty is actually coming out with a new Galaxy collection. I'm sure you guys have seen it by now, but it launches this Friday, which is Friday the 13th. Freaky Friday and I really wanted to make sure that I got my hands on it before the launch date for you guys so I could do a video trying everything out and I did I did it I got it I was so excited about this oh yeah bitch oh yeah bitch so this is the bag of Fenty goodies I haven't even opened this yet I had a quick little peek in there but I didn't open up any of the products because I wanted to do it on camera um, and just you know try everything out for the first time kind of like I did with my first Fenty video um, and just kind of test everything and see how everything goes so that's what we're going to do today just so you guys know as well I obviously didn't pay for these myself because they haven't launched just yet so a huge thank you to Jess from Max Media Lab who sent me all these goodies you are a sweet angel and I love you so much thank you for putting up with my neurotic little self so if you guys want to see the new Fenty collection as well as the look that I come up with and just all my first impressions then definitely stay tuned keep watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and if you guys are curious about my base makeup today that will be going up on my Instagram because I did film one of my little Instagram videos um, so I'll probably post that tonight or tomorrow night so it's just Casey Rayton if you want to check that out um, and I will be listing like all the products and everything used on there so yeah definitely head over there and follow me if you haven't already so first we have the palette Ooh, dude bitch this is like um, glittery like it's not just like printed it's actual glitter like they've used glue and glitter craft time craft hour over here it's fucking art attack up in here dude that's sick -os. and then those are all the shades that we have on the back dude that green you are gonna be going on my alley bitch and then and then we have oh shit oh my god they're falling everywhere i'm just going to pull them all out is that everything Give me a minute to organize my life. Oh, cute. This actually reminds me of the um, new Urban Decay, um, what's that mascara called? Sex Proof? Is it the Sex Proof mascara? I can't remember what it's called, but it looks really, really similar to this. It's actually on my bedroom floor at the moment. I mean, that sounds like fucked up. <laughs> it's like Casey even testing it out. So this is what the eyeliners look like. We have the shades Neptune and Alien Bay. Oh, dude, it's not even called Neptune. It's called Nepturned. Nepturned. I love it. Is that black? Okay, so Alien Bay is the more blue kind of one, and then Nepturned is like kind of like a green black, I would say. I don't really know. My eyes are broken. Oh, these are cute. Look at that. I really like that color. This is not something that I usually reach for. You guys know I'm not really a purples kind of girl, um, but this is really pretty. They're like kind of shimmery, but not heaps. It's so cute. They have the little FB Fenty logo pressed in the top of the lipstick. Oh, that's so pretty. It's like, look at that. That's so not as intense as I expected. And they feel really creamy. So the purple I've got on my hand was Supernova. And then this one is Gravity. And this one's like a really pretty pink. Oh, that's so nice. Yes, yeah, so it's like such a Barbie color. And then we have... Oh, my eyes can't read these, Rihanna. The writing is too small. Sci-fi? Sci... Sci-fi. Sci I think it says sci-fly, but I can't really tell because like one of the numbers, I think like the batch number has been printed over top of it and I'm blind. Oh, dude, this one's funky fresh. <gasps> okay, that one's really fucking sick. Look at that. Oh, yes. Mama, come to mama. This is super moon. Super moon, I'm a moon you with my ass. And then that is super moon down there. Oh, the glosses are pretty. That's what they look like. So they've all got like this kind of metallic, um, what's that called? I don't know what, duochrome? Is that it? I don't even know. They are really freaking pretty. Ooh, they smell nice. I don't know what it smells like. It doesn't smell like the gloss bomb from Fenty, but it smells good. So. Oh, dude, look at that full green penguin. This is Gal on the Moon. Yes, 
that really does look like a gal on the moon. Astro Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Kinky. So this is Astro Naughty. Look at those. I'm sorry, I suck at swatching shit, guys. I'm just gonna be like straight up for reals. And we have Spacesuit. Okay, that's like my spirit animal right there. If I could be a gloss, I would be that gloss. When it catches the light, it looks pure yellow and gold. And then when it turns another way, it's like totally pink. So it's like a yellow pink kind of shift. Plutonic relationship. <laughs> These names are so good. So this one is like, oh dude, that's sick. I feel like I'm just saying everything sick. Sick, sick, sick. But seriously, that's sickos. Then we have the brush that comes in the collection. So this is the two-way eyeshadow brush. So this is a double-sided brush. Oh, it comes with its own little bag. Cute. So on one end, you have a little flat packing type of brush and then this end you have a smaller one very similar i'm most excited for the eyeshadows to be honest i'm not like a huge lipstick kind of girl i don't know because i always just end up biting it off my lips i'm nasty so this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like it's really cool same duochrome kind of packaging i can't even really show you guys because it just keeps reflecting everything and mine is already filthy dirty with fingerprints but this is what the palette looks like oh dude these are so nice Oh my god, I want to do a green eye now. That, what is that? What is that? Oh, maybe green and gold? Oh, bish. So this is actually a lot thinner than I thought it was. All the photos that I saw of this palette, for some reason I thought it was going to be really bulky. I don't know why, but it's like really streamlined and thin. Like you could easily travel with this if you wanted to. Like it's really small, like it's good. And on the back we've kind of got all of the shade names listed and they're all like little diamonds and things like that. So it's really cool. So I think it's a neat idea for a holiday collection. I'm very excited that she's come out with eyeshadows now because I like brands that kind of come out with a mix of things. Like if a brand just comes out with lipsticks and like we're just doing lipsticks, I'm like, where the fuck's the rest of it? I want more, you know what I mean? Like I want a brand that does everything. So I'm gonna swatch this one. one. Do I want to, yeah, I'll swatch that one. That one. I'm mostly just swatching the ones that I'm interested in using today. And then this is, oh, yes. I like barely touch those too. Those are so pretty, especially this green here. They're not crazy sheer, like you guys can see they showed up but they are more of a sheer kind of finish. So I would say with these, you just kind of layer and build them and they'll turn out really pretty. So yeah, we're just gonna get stuck straight in and I'm gonna start doing my eyes. I'm gonna start off with my Makeup Geek eyeshadows, just do a bit of a base um, and then I'll use the Fenty ones as like toppers and that sort of thing. So I already have a base down on my eyelids. I just have a bit of foundation and my Tarte Shape Tape. And I have already set that with powder, but I do have a tiny little bit of creasing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just taking the shade Vanilla Bean from Makeup Geek it's just a bone white sort of eyeshadow and I'm just dipping into that with the Fenty brush and I'm just gonna press out those eyelid creases and just create a nice smooth base for all the eyeshadows that we're going to put on top. So then on that same brush, I'm actually gonna use this to apply my transition shade because it's actually really nice. Like it applied that eyeshadow really nicely. It's really smooth and it just feels like a really good quality brush. So I'm gonna dip into Peach Smoothie now for Makeup Geek, as you guys can see. It's very, very well loved. I'm obsessed with Makeup Geek eyeshadows. Anytime that I'm not filming a tutorial, these are basically what I use unless I have a palette out next to me and it's just more convenient. So these are like my ones that I travel with, like this palette right here. Literally all my favorite eyeshadows of my entire life. I do have a ton more Makeup Geek eyeshadows coming in the mail soon, actually. So I'll have all their new ones and then maybe I'll do like an updated collection video. But I'm just gonna dip straight into Peach Smoothie, which I literally use all the time. I'm gonna dip a whole, like I'm gonna get a ton of this on my brush. And then I'm just going to start packing this into the crease. So literally all I'm doing with this is just packing down a ton of product, which might seem crazy. I'm then taking my E40 brush from Sigma, literally like my favorite crease brush ever. And I'm just gonna start blending that Peach Smoothie shade back and forth and in circular motions as well. I'm also using all Sigma brushes today, like I usually do. You guys know I'm a big fan of Sigma. I absolutely love their brushes. And I do have an affiliate code as well. So you guys can use Casey Rayton and that will get you 10% off. So that is a commission code. So I do make money from that. So I don't feel like you have to use it, but 
it's there if you guys are interested in picking up any of the brushes that I am using. I always forget to tell you guys as well, I currently have eyelash extensions, so these are not my natural lashes, um, and they're not false lashes either. They're just extensions. I love them, so easy. It means I don't have to stuff around with falsies and they don't pull out my eyelashes, so I'm obsessed. Now just taking the shade Frappe from Makeup Geek. This is just a really nice, warm, middle-toned kind of brown. And I'm literally just going back in with that same Fenty brush. I actually really like this brush, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm just gonna pick up a nice amount of this. And I'm going to start placing this on the outer and inner corners of the eyes, because we are gonna do a halo eye today, I think. And then I'm going to switch to the smaller end just to get into the inner corner. And then I'm switching back to that E40 brush. And I'm just going to lightly start blending out the edges of that. So slightly connecting in the crease, but not too much, only just really lightly. And with that same frappe shade, I'm just going to do the exact same thing on the lower lash line and just making sure to connect in the outer corner. So we're just going to leave a gap right in the center. And to blend that out, I'm just taking my little Sigma E36 brush. Then taking the small side of the Fenty brush again and the shade Americano from Makeup Geek. It's kind of like a plum toned dark brown. I'm just going to place this a little bit more precisely on the inner and outer corners. And I'm just doing the same on the lower lash line as well. And to blend this, I'm going to use my E38 from Sigma. Essentially the same as the E30 brush, but just a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to kind of blend over that in a circular motion. And for the lower lash line, we're just using that E36 brush again. I'm just making sure it's nice and connected in the outer corner. So that's pretty much it for the base eyeshadows. I think that's everything that I'm going to do. I want to use this middle green shade from the palette, which is called, oh God, I can never figure out which way these are. Uh, I think it's Sublime. I'm so excited for this. And I've just dusted off the brush that I was using before. Like I just used a wet makeup wipe and made sure all of the eyeshadow was off. So we are going to use the Fenty brush again. And I'm actually just going to press it on there. So that's really, really pretty so far. I'm gonna try it with my finger because it is just like a nice light wash. I, actually, I really, really like it. That's really freaking pretty. Okay, so yeah, these apply so nicely with your finger. I can imagine they'd be really awesome as well with like um, a glitter glue primer down, like the Too Faced one, and that would just be like sick. But I didn't wanna use one today just in case because I didn't really want it to affect how the eyeshadows performed. I wanna see if they like stick on their own. So I'm just going in with the smaller end now and I'm just using this to kind of taper and kind of pack on the color a little bit more precisely. That's really, really pretty. There is a lot of fallout. So I'm just gonna take a little spoolie and try and brush it out of my lashes. It's like the worst thing about lash extensions is that all your eyeshadow gets stuck in them. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the lower lash line as well. Place that sublime shade right in the center of the lower lid. Definitely a lot of fallout with these, so I definitely would recommend using a glitter glue because they are basically like pressed glitters. But I'm gonna dip into this one, which is extraterrestrial. No, yes. Taking that on a smaller brush, this is the E16 from Sigma. And I'm just gonna place this right on the outer corners, just kind of tapering from that um, green that we have in the center. I feel like it just gives it a little bit more dimension. And then I'm gonna take this gold from the palette, which is Sunburst, no. Fuck, my brain can't flip shapes. You know like in exams where they'd have a rhombus and then they'd like flip it like once or twice and it would be like how many flips till the shape looks like this. My brain was just like, I'm done, I'm failing, I don't, I'm dropping out of school, I'm not doing this anymore, this is bullshit. I'm just gonna take that gold on the same E16, place it right on the center of the lid. So just kind of down the middle and just sort of taper it outwards. And then to finish up with the inner corners, I'm gonna take a mix of the gold and this one above it. That one is Milky Way, I believe. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a little mix of those and just apply those to the inner corners of the eye. So to finish off the eyes, I'm gonna go in with a bit of mascara. This is the Mecca Max Power Couple Mascara. I really like this. It's got a little tiny end as well as like a big one. I had a quick thought as well because this is the Galaxy Collection. I thought I'd use one of my glitters because I have the perfect one. This one's from Festival Face and it's Moon and Stars UV Glow Glitter. 
and they're just all tiny little moons and stars and I just thought it would be really really cute plus they're kind of green so yeah I'm just gonna put a little bit of those onto my lid and I'm also just taking some of that glitter on my lower lash line as well and kind of dragging it down so it's like little little star tears that one's a bit of a clusterfuck what is that now I'm just dipping back into the gold and that champagne white shade um, that we used and I'm just gonna like lightly press this on top of the little glitters that I have down what the fuck is that on my face where the fuck did that come from? Just to add a little bit of shimmer behind them, just so that's not just like glitter stuck there. That is the eyes all done. I actually really love this look. You guys know I'm obsessed with glitter. Any time to use glitter, any excuse, I'm gonna whip it out. I'm gonna try out one of the lipsticks now. Sorry I didn't try out the eyeliners, you guys. I will use them in some upcoming videos um, and we'll just test them out and see how they go. But for now, we're just gonna move on to lipsticks. I think I'm gonna use the nice nude one because I think that would go really pretty. So I'm going to use the shade Super Moon, which is like the peachy nude color because you guys know I love my nudes. I have like a crack in the side of my lip here. I don't know what I did, but somehow I split my lip. It just hurts so much. This lipstick is a lot sheerer than I initially thought it was going to be. I'm going to go in with a little bit of the purple one, which is Supernova. And I'm going to mix a bit of that on top. They feel very creamy. It feels more creamy than like a cream lipstick would. I don't know how to describe this. It's kind of like a lipstick and a lip gloss had a baby. And this is like the perfect in between. They look so glossy on the lips. And they kind of have little shimmers in them. So it makes them look metallic rather than glittery. They're really, really cool. And I'm just going to top it all off with the shade Space Suit in the glosses. Why is there a truck going off? So that just feels like a regular like kind of lip gloss. You guys know I'm not like a huge lip gloss fan, but I really like this as like a topper. So to go in with like a nice matte lipstick and then use a little bit of this in like the center of the lips to kind of like make them stand out or just like for a festival or like a cool party or even just like for every day, just a little bit of that tapped on top of like the lipstick I think would be really, really pretty. So overall, I really like all of the products, you guys. And my least favorite would definitely be the glosses because I'm just not like a gloss fan. And then the lipsticks because I do love tube lipsticks. I just don't really like metallic ones so much. I'm more of like a matte lipstick kind of girl. I definitely still like them. I think they're really nice. And I think if you're a really big lip products person, you'll love them. But my favorites for me were the eyeshadows. 100% love eyeshadows. You guys know I'm a big eyeshadow palette person. And then secondly, I think I'll really like the eyeliners. Sorry I didn't try them out today. I just really didn't feel like doing like a winged liner. I've got to really be in the mood for a wing and I just, I wasn't prepared for it today. You know what I mean? you got to commit and if you can't commit, you just don't even put yourself in that game. So I'm going to pop them into a box of products that I haven't tried just yet. And I'll use them in another video coming up because I've got tons of first impressions coming. But yeah, like I said, the eyeshadows are 100% my favorite. I'm obsessed with the look that I came up with. Um, something a little bit different. And I love that this palette kind of inspired me to use some greens because now... I'm like, why am I not using greens every of the days, all of the days, because they look fabulous. This is something that everyone can use. It's not like when you come out with an eyeshadow palette and they're all mattes, and then you got a couple of shimmers here and there, and it's either warm toned or cool toned, you know what I mean? And everyone's like, oh, but it's true this, it's true that, it's not enough this. This is literally just those beautiful lip shades that everyone wants, which I personally really, really like, because anytime I'm doing my makeup, I honestly will just reach for like, my makeup geek eyeshadows and then I'll look for something else to put onto the lid. I really like this as like that kind of concept. It's like you can use whatever you're used to using and then you just add this in. So yeah, like this stuff gets a huge thumbs up from me. I'm so just, I'm so into it. I'm really into Fenty. I actually use the Fenty foundation and one of the click sticks. Is that what they're called? Clicks? Click sticks, I think so, and one of the highlighters and stuff today. So make sure you check out my Instagram video that will either be up tonight or tomorrow. Um, and I'll have all the products and you guys will get to see like a little clip of how I did everything. That's basically it for this video. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video.